hi folks, this is Ziggy, nice to see you again, nice to have you here with me. Well, some people asked me to explain the right hand technique of boogie guitar playing and uh, well, this is something I cannot really do very well, but I try maybe to give you a theoretical instruction for that um, as far as I've, well, what I've experienced and we're talking about Tommy Emmanuel's guitar, Boogie Tommy, the greatest one in playing this style in my opinion and uh, well, what does he do? He um, manages to combine with his flat pick to play a bass line and to play normally with upstrokes the chords. Imagine, for example, what is bo Boogie Woogie? Boogie Woogie was created by a man called Pantop Smith in the 20s, so the books say, and he played the Boogie Woogie bass line in his left hand as a piano player and with the right hand he played the chords yeah, in between and uh, well and to play that on a guitar seems to be a little bit more difficult. I'm looking for my thumb pick um, maybe I could find it and I put it somewhere so that would be a good idea to um, tell you how you normally play a boogie. I um, well, if there is no thumb pick, maybe I put it in my pocket. No, I play it, then I show it with the fingers. No matter. And I tune down to the D, my E string to the D. And maybe you remember this little, um, well, ah, there is my little thumb pick here on the floor. Um, you remember this song. I think it's called Old Fashioned Love Song. Normally you would play it like this, yeah, you have your thumb pick and you mute the bass and play. And then with the other fingers you pluck the chords. Or if you have practiced enough, I hope this works, my improvisation, um, I try to play the melody. Oh my! string was between the fingertip and the nail. If something like that can happen, let me do it again. So, this would be the normal way to play boogie woogie kind of music. You can um, divide between the thumb with which you play your bass and the other fingers who create the melody. But uh, Tommy is able to do it with a flat pick, which is, in my opinion, much, much more difficult, but has a special kind of dynamic, I would say. Yeah? That means he plays the bass alternative um, down up the bass line with the right hand. Let's make it a little bit easier and play two times the open E down up. Then the third fret and the fourth fret with I use the middle and the ring finger. And now I'll give it a try to play the chord or the open E and B string in between. This way you can imagine a, what, what a piano player does. Left hand bass, right hand the chords. And uh, well this is the way I think Tommy plays the, the, this boogie, main, main theme, main riff. string with an off, with an upstroke. And you 
you can imagine if you are more versatile, you can, when this upstroke comes, yeah, you can maybe do it with chords. There is one part in the movie, I think it is like this. He plays the upstroke. I always take a look into my little monitor so I see what I do. Now I take a look at G. Okay, E7 chord. Yeah, ring finger, ring finger on the seventh fret of the A, middle finger on the sixth fret of the D, pinky on the seventh fret of the G string, and then you have an open chord. And here you have, you can work. You leave middle finger and pinky where they are, and you use the open E string with your ring finger to the 7th fret on the E or the 4th fret and on the E and A. Listen to this. So you have in your left hand here this little melody and then you play. Then you go to the normal bass thing in A, back to E, then you have a 7th chord starting on the 4th fret, yeah. so here you can see, play bass, bass and chords, and if you do it in the groove, then you have a feeling of left-right hand, yeah? So that's what it is all about.